There have been many African leaders who have been assassinated throughout history, often because of political unrest, power struggles, or opposition to their policies. Although these leaders were assassinated by African soldiers or rebel groups, it's suspected that this was done with the support of the Western powers because they were a threat to their interests both domestically and internationally. These leaders were targeted for assassination because of their political beliefs and their opposition to the status quo. Their deaths were tragic losses for their countries and for the African continent. Mohamed Boudiaf Boudiaf was an Algerian revolutionary and politician who played a key role in the Algerian War of Independence against France. He was born in Sila, Algeria, and became involved in nationalist politics at a young age. In 1954, he joined the National Liberation Front, FLN, which was fighting for Algeria's independence from France. After independence, Boudiaf became a leading figure in Algerian politics, serving as the country's first president of the National Assembly and later as the Minister of Education. However, he fell out of favor with the ruling elite and was forced into exile in 1989. Boudiaf returned to Algeria in 1992 with a plan to reform the government and combat corruption. However, just a few months after his return, he was assassinated by a member of the Presidential Guard during a public speech. Samora Marshall Marshall was a revolutionary leader who was the first president of Mozambique and played a key role in the struggle for independence in Mozambique. He was a Marxist and a Pan-Africanist who believed in the need for social justice, economic development, and African unity. After Mozambique gained independence in 1975, Marshall became its first president and pursued policies aimed at promoting social justice and economic development. He also played a key role in supporting other liberation movements in Africa, such as the African National Congress in South Africa and the Zimbabwe African National Union. In 1986, Marshall died in a plane crash in South Africa under mysterious circumstances. The circumstances surrounding his death have never been fully explained, but many believe that it was a result of foul play by South African security forces who opposed his support for anti-apartheid movements in the region. Marshall is remembered as a hero and a symbol of African liberation and unity. Patrice Lumumba Lumumba was a Congolese nationalist and Pan-Africanist who was the first Prime Minister of Congo and played a key role in the struggle for independence from Belgium. He was a charismatic and popular leader who advocated for socialism, African unity, and greater independence from Western powers. Lumumba's government was overthrown in a military coup just months after he took office, and he was imprisoned and then assassinated in January 1961 under circumstances that remain controversial to this day. Many believe that his death was orchestrated by the United States and Belgium, who feared that his policies would align Congo with the Soviet Union during the Cold War. His body was buried in a shallow grave and then exhumed the next day dismembered and dissolved in sulfuric acid. The only thing that remained of his body is his gold tooth, which Belgium soldiers took it to Belgium. Belgium returned the Golden Tooth in 2022 to Congo and the Belgian Prime Minister apologized for the murder of Patrice Lumumba. Thomas Sankara Sankara was a Marxist revolutionary and Pan-Africanist who came to power in Burkina Faso in 1983 after a military coup. He was known for his commitment to social justice, including women's rights, environmental protection, and anti-corruption measures. He also renamed the country from Upper Volta to Burkina Faso, which means land of upright men in the local language. Sankara pursued policies aimed at promoting women's rights, combating corruption, and reducing dependence on foreign aid. He nationalized land and industries, redistributed wealth, and implemented agricultural reforms aimed at improving food security. Sankara was a charismatic leader and a vocal critic of imperialism and neocolonialism in Africa. He opposed foreign aid and loans, he advised African leaders to work together and pay their foreign debt because it is a tool for colonization. Sankara was assassinated in 1987 and it's widely believed to have been orchestrated by his former friend and colleague, Blaise Compare who was an ally of France, and went on to rule Burkina Faso for nearly three decades. Muammar Gaddafi Gaddafi was the longtime ruler of Libya, who came to power in a military coup in 1969. 
He was known for his eccentric personality, his support for Pan-Africanism and Arab nationalism, and his opposition to Western imperialism. Gaddafi's regime was criticized for its human rights abuses and its support of terrorism. It's believed that Muammar Gaddafi was killed because of his push for African unity and creation of a common currency, gold dinar, that was backed by gold which could have changed Africa's dependence on the dollar, freed the French colonies in Africa and reduced the external influence in Africa which helps the Western powers to get African minerals for free or at almost zero cost by creating political instability in the continent. Also, the Western powers were not happy with Libya's development with no loans for aid, during his 42 years of rule water, electricity, and education were provided for free, and all loans were at no interest rate. NATO forces targeted some of Libya infrastructure like the great man-made river pumping stations, claiming that they were being used by the Gaddafi regime to supply military units which were disputed by the Libyan government and some independent experts. Many Libyans who relied on the project for their livelihoods were left without access to water, and the country's agricultural sector was severely impacted. He was overthrown and killed during the Arab Spring protests in 2011, with the support of NATO forces. We Africans are our own enemies, all the African leaders mentioned above we assassinated by Africans with the help of Western power, without us betraying our African brothers and sisters Western powers cannot influence Africa.